um, uh, tell um, everyone who you are and what you do. And, yes. Okay. So I'm Eva Samkova from Czech Republic and I'm professional snowboard cross rider. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many talk us through all your wins? You know. Uh, like I won three times World Cup. Yep. Single single race. Yep. And I'm a three times a junior world championship champion over here. <laughs> How long have you been doing this? Like I'm snowboarding from uh, when I was six years old. Wow. But uh, professionally, like snowboard, because I'm doing five, six years. Wow. And you obviously love it. Why? Why is this your life? Oh yeah, because it, I don't know. It's so so like fun and it's like really really cool if you are in, in with another four people in a course and yeah. you are competing and when you are on the start at the last position and in a finish you are first it's like the best feeling ever yeah talk us through your win congratulations and daughter yeah. what's running through your head when you're you know oh nothing special i just wanted to be a stable and quiet and like focus on and like be be focused on that and do like like uh, slow moves and be prepared on it what 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 happened on on the course is there a moment in the race where you know i'm going to do this i'm going to win it yeah that's right How, when is that moment you think oh yeah i think it was uh, on the last roller section yeah. yeah that that was oh yeah that might be good so it it was perfect can you tell the people how hard it is to get to this level? I don't think it's hard. If, okay. if it's fun, it's not hard. So yeah, sometimes it's hard like in a gym or if you're tired, you don't want to go to jogging or whatever. But if you are in a, in a course and you're doing stuff, you love it. So it's, it's not hard. Is it a sport that is uh, competitive with the boys? Is it the girls and the boys? Is it like a family? How do you work together? I think so. We work together pretty well in our team. Yeah. Because the guys help me a lot because they are like still moving forward and I'm wanting to like looking for them and like try the same thing like they are. Yes. So I think yeah. it's pretty good. How important is your team, your coaches? You know, what do they mean to you? I think it's the most important thing because they are so like waxmans and physiotherapists and both coaches are pretty good. I think they are best. <laughs> so yeah, it, it helps me a lot and that's the reason why I'm so good because of them. Yeah. Yeah. People like you, you're incredible. And what are some of the difficult things? You know, you're away from family, you're away from friends. How do you handle that? I think I can handle it like pretty good because I really love it. Also, like the the cruising and traveling all around the world. And yeah, sometimes I miss my family, yeah. but they really support me and they wanted to me to do this. So I think it's. It's really good time for me to do this because I'm young and I like just have family in my hometown but nothing at all. So I think it's really good and I can see like really different people and stuff so I, I love it. Um, you had the moustache on Sunday and I yeah. asked you but I'll ask you again. What, what is it? Why do you do that you think? Yeah, it's simple. It's just for luck because uh, I think I first did it in... 2011 in the World Championship in La Molina. Yeah. So it was first time and I won a, a small final and it was really like good result for me this year, that, the, yeah. that year. So yes. I, I decided to continue in that. So I think it's pretty good and it's fun also. <laughs> I mean, you look fantastic. You think you're very beautiful. Oh, thank you. Um, off, out of the sport, how do you dress? You know, you wear a dress, jeans, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, I just want it to be, like, for, it should be comfortable for me. And that's all. But, yeah, I, I doesn't like, I doesn't like high heels or stuff. Like, more, like, sportive and, and stuff. So, I think I, it's, like, con it's connected with the sport I'm doing. So, it's... 
Right. Was the same. If you were to design something, because you know you're you're very influential, <laughs> what would you design for outside of snowboarding, but it's connected? Uh, what would you like to yeah. say? I think I would like to. I already designed two two T-shirts. Wow. It was uh, for Czech label Vagus. Yep. It's a label from a Czech Nordic skier Andra Bank. Okay. And it was just two T-shirts, like the stripes T-shirt, blue, blue and white. Yeah. And, and it was nice. It was like just the just the normal stuff and yeah, yeah. pretty good, I think. And I think that people like it, so I'm really glad. Ah, you need to keep working on that. Yeah. I love your pearl earrings. You're very girly, which I love. Oh, thank a, you. Yeah, you got it. Well, um, I can say it's a real honor to have met you. And is there anything else you want? For my uh, signature helmet. Uh, yeah, talk us through that, yes. That, that, was, uh, that will be helmet for the Olympics, so it will be with the wolves on, on the helmet. And I think it's pretty good because that uh, it, it uh, designed my friend. And she really good at it, so I think it's pretty nice, and I love it. And also, the same design will be on on my new brand car from Turtle. So. And the design is called what's the designer? Oh, it's just like uh, like child paint, painting or stuff. It's pretty like cute and and stuff. It's and it's and there is a wolf and stuff. And I really love it, wolf. So. It's also connected with me. Were you part of that as well in the design, or your friend came up with it? Oh, I I asked her for it. Yes. So, and but she really handled it, and she really loved it. So I think it's pretty good because she also likes it and, and pretty good at it. So I think. It's oh, we're really excited. Do you promote that? Yeah, and, yeah. Um, on the Facebook. And we'll get some pictures. Yeah. If I go on your Facebook, it'll be on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. Definitely. Oh, thank you so thank much, you so and much. we're gonna keep following your story. Yeah, that's right. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Uh, you're training him and you're training the world champion. What's yeah. the difference? They are both good, so yeah. no, it's not different. Yes, right. We're trying to keep them both in the shape. And right. She just, he just know more about this, yeah. so I don't help him so much. Right. But she's lady and not educated so much, so I have to help, help her more. When you mean educated, what are you doing? Because your job is the most important job. I'm a, I'm a coach, of course, yeah, yeah. and I studied the uh, University of Physical Education in Prague. Right. So I'm a professional coach. Yeah. Originally, I'm coach of gymnastics, yeah. which is kind of more, not difficult, but you need to know more about the movement. So I, but the basics are from the, I studied gymnastics. What makes her the champion? I mean, is it mental? It, why is she so brilliant? No, the, this sport is, you know, it's third already third Olympics. The sport is not so new, right. actually. So it has to be uh, things together. She should be strong here, smart, feel the rhythm, strong, endurance, fast, everything together. When she's racing, how are you feeling? Very bad. <laughs> are you bad. watching? I'm, are I'm, you watching? Yeah, of course. I'm watching because I'm trying to help her every try and every run. I'm mostly scared kind of, in this in this race or in racing. When you are trying to coach or training in easy courses, it's easier for me. But if it's danger, like here and everywhere on the World Cups, right. I'm scared. So the world moment where you know, yeah, she's gonna do it, or you never know. Yes, I. Yeah, uh, but it was like 100 meters from the end because she was in both last runs. She was third or fourth, so she had to pass. But I kind of trust her. Yeah. And um, what's your most uh, highlight? Your emotional moment out of the. Of this, uh, like, well, competition? just generally, you know? I don't know. The, every, if, for me, I think it was the first, the I think the most, like, feelable moment with Eva. It was, I think, the first junior championship she won. Wow. She passed in last turn. We didn't see it, actually, so we thought that she's second. It was great, actually. And we came in the seal and we figured out that she's first. So it was, it was surprising, kind of. and. That was really strong. So we're heading for the Olympics, yeah? yeah? Talk us through, you know, you don't know her. Huh? Yeah, nobody knows. This is Snowboard Girl. So I think that she, I can tell that she can have a medal in the, or she can be in the first three in the qualification. 
but in the run with the people, it's nobody luck. knows. Is it luck? It's not. Sometimes yes. If somebody fall from the view, you can do nothing. But we trying to prepare her to be first from the start to the end. So it's safe for a bit. Right. You obviously train women different to the men. Yes. No. No. Mm -hmm. They are women, so it's different here. But for the sport, they has to be strong. And sometimes they are stronger than some men. If the lady in this sport will be soft or not clever or these things, she cannot do that because it's so dangerous for if you are not strong in the, in the head. And what would you like, um, what's the best out? Why are you doing what you do, you know? I don't know. I, I kind of like to help the people and I'm cold.